traders, FS Pickleante here. Today is Tuesday, August 27th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the US dollar CAD, I think this five ways up is a way of A. I think we are now in a crescent to those five ways up, so most likely this is an A, B, C of way B. I think this needs to take out the low of wave four before we get another attempt on the uptrend. So heading down to the weekly time frame, I think it's very, very clear that this is five ways down over here for the wave A. I also think it's very clear this is one, two, three waves up for wave B. Yes, it is a higher high wave B. That does happen a lot in the markets. I just call them irregular wave Bs. I believe that we are now already in a downtrend for the wave C, which the wave C should also have five waves down, just like the wave A, probably taking it below the low of wave four. I would expect maybe the one point three area as a target. So going down to the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, ever since this thing broke starts to the downside several weeks ago, we have been looking for sorts on sort of time frames, and man, kit trend traders have been absolutely killing it on the US dollar pairs. I am definitely a trend trader myself, I only trade in one direction, and right now the trend is down, so I'm only looking for sorts on sort of time frames. So going down to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame, I still think the most recent structure is way up here, so for me, I am definitely, definitely still looking for sorts. Even if it does go up and break structure, that only tells me that this last wave is over. More than likely, it would just make another correction and another continuation of the downtrend. So definitely, definitely still looking for sorts, and I definitely wouldn't rely on this thing going up and making a pullback, trying to go long. Uh, because what could happen is this thing could just keep on going down. The trend is your friend, and I hope that these big trends that we've been getting lately helps prove the importance of trading with the trend. So going down to the one hour time frame, like I said yesterday, I'm definitely looking for sorts. I was expecting yesterday maybe a little bit of a bigger pullback, but yeah, the trend is your friend. What happened? One wave up, one, two, three down, one wave up, three waves up, impulsive down, nice entry to go sort right there. Beautiful, beautiful ABC Kretzen. Now, if it does go up, if it does break Strutzer, you know, do something like this, then most likely that would mean that it's in for a bigger Kretzen, probably a Kretzen to the whole five waves down right here. And if you are a short time frame trader, you know, once it breaks starts to the upside, you could try to go long, maybe on the next pullback, like at the end of a wave B. But I still think that the better, more reliable money is going to be continuing to go short every chance you get. And like I said, it doesn't even have to go up right now. It could easily, easily just keep on drifting down. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked over here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.